Hey, welcome back. Today, we're going to start the show off with Miss Camilla Cabela. Welcome her to the show. We're going to jump straight into a reading about Miss Camilla. Just see what's going on with her. Um, I also want to start off with saying that we're going to do a, re the real whole reading we're going to do with the Modern Witch Tarot deck. If you're interested in this deck, description, check it out. Okay, it'll be listed in the description on my Amazon storefront. Now, let's jump into the reading. Now, and I would like to say that also, I like this deck because it's so colorful and pretty. They show it really good on camera. So, that's why we picked this deck for today. Now, back to Miss Camilla. We're going to just see what's the energy around her. And we'll go from there. Divine Angels, if you will, please give me the best cards from this deck to describe the current energy for Miss Camilla Cabela. So, let's see what's going on. Let's jump straight in. Okay. All right, we'll take these cards. Okay. Now, girl, now we got this Knight of Wands energy here with Miss Camilla. Now, the Knight of Wands speaks of a young masculine energy coming in with that wand, either coming in with that passion, coming in with that lust, or coming in with girl some type of idea a point uh, some type of idea girl okay the one is up somebody's coming in very fast moving fast with some type of determination but then we got this ten of swords energy which someone feeling backstabbed um and it seems like you're being backstabbed by somebody that's close to you but then you're on your phone scrolling like everything's okay but this is a this is an issue right here now are you ignoring the, the uh wounds or are you acknowledging them? We need to know because we got the six, the seven of cups. Wow, Miss Camilla, this is a dark energy right here. But the seven of cups, we got options here, a lot of options. But they said all that, all that glitter is not gold for Miss Camilla. But she got some options and she got some choices to make. Now in these cups, I see a rose and a heart that could possibly be love. But I see a snake, and then I see a fist, a blue fist, girl. Now, who done balled up their fist? Somebody angry here. Then we got money and diamonds and gold. So that's abundance. We also have celebration here. But then we got this tornado. Okay, we got a tornado here, a storm. So there are some cups here. Now, I don't know if she's spreading her cups out there and offering cups to people. But then everybody's not, you know, it's not a give and take with all the cups. Some, some people have um, other motives and then some people come in and cause chaos in her life but if she can stay focused on at least four of those cups she can have abundance and, and grace but I feel like some type of energies girl this hand giving me either Thanos or some type of masculine energy coming in uh, ruling with the iron fist kind of like and then we got the nine of cups issues here now the nine of cups is a wish being fulfilled wish coming true and you're feeling kind of smug and pleased about it but then you can see the way she's sitting here with her arms folded like she still want that ten of cups she still want that perfect situation so it seems like she all in her emotions and her feelings she may be out here dating okay she may be dating young men but it seems like nothing is is balancing out nothing is um, the math is not mathing when it comes to dating, baby. All the swipes are not equaling up. Okay, if she's swipe, swiping left or swiping right, I don't know which one it is anymore. Okay. But we got this Knight of Wands. Now, it seems like somebody, it's, I don't know if the Knight of Wands coming in and just a fly by night type of one night stand type of situation and then either ghost or kind of leave her in a Ten of Swords situation. But it's like she got so many options. I don't think she's picking the right ones. I think she's picking the wrong cups. And then when she sit, then she sit there with the nine of cups. Um, it's like she only, it's like she has everything. She only missing one cup. But it's like, girl, you got nine cups. Do you really need that tenth cup, ten cup situation? Maybe offer that tenth cup to yourself because you got the seven of cups. But everything is not. Girl, everything is not good with this seven of cups. Even though the majority of the cups have good things in them, but not all of them. So it's almost like she can't catch a break. 
like okay like you know she she'll catch great breaks when it comes to her career i see you know there's abundance here in her life there is a, enough to be celebrated here but like again these cups represent emotions and feelings and it seems like that's not satisfying it's like when it comes to her emotions and feelings she's getting backstabbed she's getting stabbed in the back okay 10 times baby it's been multiple times multiple dates so I feel like at this point, girl, you need to sit back and enjoy this nine of cups situation that you got going on and let that ten of cups um, come to you or you give that ten of cups to yourself. You give that extra cup to yourself. But then again, I mean, I think at the end of the day, she wants to have family. She wants to have, you know, that completion. And girl, yeah, you can't, I, I don't condone raising kids and families by yourself. Now, if you get to the age where you're 40, girl, you're about to creep on into your 50s and you just know that that's something you definitely want. <sighs> and you, girl, I still don't feel like you know, you don't know no good, girl. I feel like you still shouldn't do it because it's going to be too hard and it definitely be hard for you in your 40s and 50s. Girl, you can't run behind no kid at that age by yourself. You'll be stressed out you'd be resentful but who you gonna be resentful for because if you went to a, a sperm bank baby you're gonna be resentful, resentful for yourself i've seen many women um go out and have the baby thinking the baby is more important and it's not i think it's more important that i think what you want is a family a established family a stable family so that you know you can raise this baby with a stable household because last thing you want to do is bring a baby into an unstable situation that's going to make you mentally unstable. That baby's going to be mentally unstable. And then there you go. you creating a generational curse. But it seems like, it's, you know, she wants that. But she can't get that because it seems like the men are either coming in with that one. And all they want is passion. All they want is one night stand type of thing. Coming from being very immature. And leave her in this ten of, ten of swords situation. But then it's like she's still on last strolling like you still scrolling and you know, if she doing online dating but i feel like she is but it's like how can a celebrity really do online dating because number one will they really believe it's you and then if they do believe it's you do they have true motives okay what are their motives for coming in do they want to get in your cups so they can get in your wallet baby we need to know but it seems like they're these people are they have i don't know if if Camilla is just not picking the right guys because she got options, okay? It's not like she's short of options, okay? I'm saying she do. But then she got 10 swords on her back, so she's picking wrong options, and she's picking a lot of them. Now, a sword, to me, in order to stick somebody in the back with a sword, you have to be close to them. So, th th that's a 10 of swords situation going on, but 7 cups, 9 of cups, it's like she's so close to having it all. But she just have not been able to maintain it but it's like girl the seven cups came out to be kind of like hopeless because you're not picking right just take time with this nine of cups sitting in that nine of cups situation and enjoy it and be grateful and then love yourself enough so that when you go out you don't have to have ten swords stuck in your back baby as soon as somebody stick one baby you can keep it moving okay you ain't got to do you ain't got to do ten swords but let's find out girl what's going on okay let's first find out about this knight of wands he coming in here young. Okay, she may like him young. She probably she probably get an immature man. Okay, that could be it. And then she could be going for men who are very attractive. And they F boys. But you know, they showing up at her door. They they I mean they pulling up. They pulling up in the nice cars, maybe in the Porsches. They pulling up on their horses, baby. But they're not pulling up in a chariot. They're not pulling up. And a horse and carriage. The girl, it's only one horse, but you got to get on the back and ride with them. And it's a bumpy ride. Can you hold on? It's a, can you handle it? You may not be able to handle the ride that these boys are putting you on, Miss uh, Camilla. And that's why you end up with this Ten of Swords. Now, she could have this Ten of Swords because she refused to ride. But then again, I don't know. So let's find out. Why is this Knight of Wands here for Miss Camilla Cabella? So we do have people coming in making offers for her. They are... They definitely coming in with the ace of pentacles now girl when they get in do they need twenty dollars in gas maybe because this pentacle can be like okay making offers you can make an offer but then it's an offer of money you want you want a little cup you want that that cup you want somebody to come in with a cup they coming in with that one and they coming in asking for something or, or are you manifesting this person into your life some type of way 
now we have the star okay so it seems like these people are coming into her life because she is the star it could be now she's trying to balance out this star energy she's trying to stay um balanced with land which means she's trying to stay uh solid secure she's trying to have security um and then she's trying to balance out her emotions because i mean sister girl i mean she's looking for love so she's trying to balance it out with her emotions with this water but at the same time she's not trying to fall in this water and drown because sometimes she can sometimes you can lose yourself so she trying to make sure she stay balanced she stay the star that she is okay um she know that you know people know who she is so you want to make sure that somebody's not coming into your life to have this ace of pentacle situation to manifest something in their life to manifest some type of opportunity in their life to manifest twenty dollars for the gas tank we ain't got it okay but we got this fool card she want a new start she want to believe in people but then at the same time baby don't be played like a fool don't let them play you like a fool miss girl okay now this could be also her career. Let's see if it's her if it's her career. Opportunities are coming in for her career, but it's coming in with this Knight of Wands. So, which means, girl, can y'all offer me a little bit more? It's like I don't know. If she's hitting her head on the glass ceiling when it comes to career. Or she's finding out, girl, if you got you know, if you're not a man, you know, you can't make it in this world. But it's like she is. She she is receiving opportunities, okay? But then at the same time, with the Ace of Pentacles, it's like they are making offers to her. And she is the star. She's trying to balance everything out. But at the same time, with this food cart at this end, it seems like it's always either she have to restart, okay, start over, or have to start over with something new that may not be what she want to do. Like, this girl is a singer. Does she want to be on the singing show? I mean, it kind of works. But at the same time, does she, does she prefer to be, be on the stage? Would she rather be on the stage? Again. Okay, we got... It's almost like if, if this is career, it's almost like she's feeling like she's still at the beginning of her career. Or she's still at the... She's not at, you know, where she wants to be. For her to be in, been in this uh, field for a long time, you think that she, uh, you know, you have more than this Knight of Wands energy and these small offers with this Ace of Pentacles. But it's still an offer. She's still receiving offers. She's still shining bright with the star. But at the same time, with this Fool card, it's almost like I should be farther than this. I should be um, more than this. It, this is almost like like internship. Like it's. It's, it's like almost a beginning type of thing. Again, career. That's how she's feeling with career. When it comes to love, it could be the same way. You know, it's always like I go out with these men. They may have, they may look good. You know, she may be passionate, attracted to him, may have some chemistry. He probably got a nice car. Maybe she pulled up in a nice car. But it's again, it's like either she doing the pan, she doing the offering. He may come in and make one offer. Okay, but then it's still, it's all about her stardom in the middle. And then at the end with this food cart, new beginning, starting over again, fresh start. It seems like you got to take a leap of faith again. Okay. You don't want the, the food cart at the end. You want the food cart at the beginning. It's okay to, you know, be the food at the beginning because you don't know what you don't know. You out there, you, you, you know, you're taking a leap of faith. You know, you're not letting anything stop you from taking this leap of faith. But then it's like, girl, once you're the star, you don't want to go back to star and over again. You don't want to go back to being the fool again. You don't want to go to feeling like you're the fool again. So it's giving me relationship because we're leading back into this ten of swords energy. Because I feel like her career is doing good. I mean... In my eyes, but is it in her eyes? I don't know. So we got this Ten of Swords energy. Okay, because she's on all the red carpets. You know, she she on the show. She's not the star star of the show, but, you know, she she's in one of those four chairs. So, I mean, that's just as good. But we got this Ten of Swords. Let's find out why this Ten of Swords is here for Miss Camilla Cabela. So we got the Six of Wands that popped out first. Again, it's a lot of celebration that's going around her. She's got people that support her. And so I don't understand. Okay, are these people, do these people not have good intentions for you? Maybe not. Because we got the six of uh, ones around this ten of swords energy. And this ten of swords speaks of being stabbed in the back, having issues. Okay, it's like 
can't trust nobody around you. But then all these people around you act like they like you. They act like they are the yes people. Okay, because they hold in wands like they got your back, like they got passion for you. Okay, because you're moving forward with victory. But are they moving forward with victory because, girl, you're writing a check? I don't know, girl. Let's find out. We got this King of Cups. Okay, so we got a King of Cups here. This is somebody who's giving you full emotions. He's giving you his full cup. He's sitting here. He's all in his emotion. Okay, he or she. Okay, she's starting to look a little feminine to me, girl. But these are feminine cards, though, so. Okay, then we got the devil. Now, okay, so, girl, it's looking like somebody came in and they swindle you. Girl, did they come in and swindle your heart? Because, like I said, I got these people that's surrounding you. They're like, they supporting you. They're like, they care for you. they celebrating you, okay, because you're up on the horse, honey. you achieving things. But, girl, I can barely see their face. I don't know who, who are these people. They hold their wands. Are they hitting you with the wands? Are they trying to hurt you with what they want? Are they jealous of you? Because it could be passion. It could start off as, okay, uh, we want to follow you. We want to support you. Um, but then it's this ten of swords energy with people around you are hurting you or lying on you or stabbing you in the back or betraying you. And they probably be doing it all on the ground, girl. Okay, they're probably posting something, probably lying to you, lying about something behind your back. And you probably read something about it. But either way, go, it's lies, it's dark energy, it's that low vibrational energy. And it seems like there may be somebody that you may have been bound to with this King of Cups. Now, girl, I haven't heard that you was dating anybody, whoever this King of Cups is. But he's showing emotions. He, but what's in his cup, girl? What's in his cup? For this devil energy to be right next to him and him looking at this devil energy. It's like he came in with bad motives. He didn't have good motives at all. Very low vibration, but then he got you so attached to him. You attached to this person now. But then we got the six of wands energy. Girl, is this somebody from your past? Is this somebody that you trusted at least once before? I don't even know if she know. I don't, if if this person, whoever this person is, I want to. Do she even know they're the cause of this ten of swords? Because I'm picking up that it's somebody backstabbing you, and you don't know who it is. That's why you scrolling on the internet. It's like that's why you looking on the internet because it's like who in your camp is betraying you, and you don't want to think it's this person that's close. This person that could possibly be giving you this extra cup that could possibly you know complete you. But I think that. You trying to? I guess you're looking at this person with rose-covered glasses, and I don't know if people around you are telling you about him, and you mad at them for telling you because you think he's fine, girl. You think he's fine, but you don't want to start over, so you're willing to believe the best in this person. So whoever this person is, but this, either this person got options or you got options, girl. Let's find out. Watch this seven of cups here for Camilla. Okay, so we got Camilla here. Oh, we got the Empress here. We got the Empress. Beautiful, nourishing, loving. Okay, glow up. I mean, it's like she's showing up as the Empress. So she's showing up as somebody that is ready for love, honey. She in the mood for love. She feel like she got her best body, girl. She feel like she's looking good. She feel like her hair is good. She, I mean, she feeling like sexy. She got the most confidence she ever had before with the Empress card. So she knows she got options. But then again, do your boo got options too, girl? Whoever this person is that's got you bound and gagged, baby, that you're not speaking of. You probably can't even go Instagram official with this person because, honey, you're still unsure of them. Because they got this devil energy. You're not speaking about this person. You're bound and gag. You're in your emotion. This person barely giving you any emotions. But yet, you got all these swords around you. Now, again, the swords giving me people that you probably either grew up with. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be friends that you've been having in your life for years. But you are so bound and gag. You're so loyal to these people. You only want to suspect whoever these people are, okay? Because this sword energy is here for a reason. It's surrounding you. It's almost got you um, in some type of jail. It's almost some type of control over you, girl. Girl, you you so worried about this, honey? 
Um, you got it's barely any type of stream of love coming from this energy with this eight of swords. You know, but this is what you hold on to, this little stream of energy, baby, this little peace stream, baby. You try to hold on to that. But it's like, girl, and I don't know if these people you met in the city, but we got this Queen of Wands energy. Okay, we got somebody, we got, a, this could be a woman over the age of 25, dark hair, dark eyes, passionate, fiery. I mean, she could have red hair as well. Fiery. This is Queen of Wands. So we got this Knight of Wands, we got the Queen of Wands. We got a young male here, we got an older woman, passionate. Camilla, okay, you and your options, girl. You got so many options here. You can't even, you can't even pick. You can't even pick, but this Knight of Wands that started off your energy, it seems like he may be of somebody of importance here. And it seems like you, you're trying to look your best and be your best, for this particular person but you know because you feel like this person may have options and you want to make sure that you are one of the options that are chosen so you sitting there with your cups and you waiting on this person to come and offer this cup and this king of cups is showing up as somebody that he got the the ability to give you these cups but he got so much low vibrational energy he probably tied to somebody else as well he may be in another relationship and hiding that from you girl And you got people around you that are not telling you the truth and not speaking the truth. Or maybe they know the truth and they're not telling you the truth. Girl, what is it? Let me find out more about this devil energy. Give me more about this devil energy in Camilla's reading. Why is this devil energy here? Yeah, somebody keeping secrets here. Somebody in her camp. Somebody that she's very passionate about with this page of wands. Somebody that she is looking up to, honey. She is really, it's like she really attracted to this person with this page of what? This person right here probably give up butterflies in her stomach. This person right here do it for her. Okay. She got paid. It's almost like she feel like a young girl. She It's almost giving me crush. But then it hurts. Okay. It's that type of love that hurts a little bit. Okay. It's like it's not perfect at all. Okay. But this nine of ones. It could be a lot of passion, but then at the same time, she bandaged up her hands, her bandage, her head is bandaged. It could be mental issues here. This person right here could be playing with her head. Honey, she could be uh, hypnotized by the wand, baby. Who is Camilla with? Okay, last time I was did a reading on her, she was with some guy named Austin. And I think they were just lightly dating. It was nothing, nothing serious. But... I think she keep on getting hurt. I mean, it seems like this ten ones is nine. I mean, it's ten swords, nine ones. So it's like dating. Like she's out there dating multiple people probably, and it's just not the the dating math is not adding up. She she getting hurt some kind of way because people are not being honest. They're not they're not being truthful. Maybe even people got other women. It's always some type of other women, some type of comparison when it comes to that moon energy. So we got a lot of vibrational, low vibrational energy here with this Ten of Swords. So Dana may not be going according to plan, at least the way she wanted. You know, she has a plan to, to build a family. You know, she wants kids. She wants a husband. Girl, you're not going to get it this way. Not when people have these type of hidden motives here. And they, at the end of the day, they still hurting you. Honey, they ain't not capable of doing nothing other than hurting you with this type of energy this person's young and immature this person make you feel young and immature you know you probably like to ride out y'all probably have fun together but girl you be left there looking for the one thinking about the one while he's still moving forward and then you know it's getting to the point you're looking back on all situations you need to reevaluate what's really going on. Is it is your picker off, baby? Are you choosing the wrong men? Are you choosing the wrong partners? Are you choosing the wrong people to be around you? Because it's very low low vibration. They don't have good intentions here. Even though they come in acting like they do. They they come in acting like they do. Okay. With this ten of cups. At least that's who that's what Camilla feels like. She feels like this person is coming in with good intentions. But with this card being, sometimes she could probably be naive about it. Okay, it's like, girl, are you being for real? 
Are you really um, checking out this, the loyalty here? Okay. Are you listening to people who really care about you when they tell you that something ain't right about this person? They're picking up something not right. But then you probably get a little annoyed with people telling you. It's like, let me do. So it's like, okay, you're doing it, girl, but look what's, look what's the outcome, okay? You're not picking right. Okay, you're not picking the ones that are good for you. Okay, because these some of these cups got good options in it, but you're picking the people who got secrets and keeping keeping um things from you. Either it's partnership, it's keeping some type of love vibrational energy from you. It could be substance abuse, but at the end of the day, girl, you the one getting hurt. Okay, now you trying to you now you gotta your glow up is amazing okay your glow up is great you're looking good you're feeling good but it's still something here that's holding you back there's still something here with this tennis with this uh, eight of swords energy that you're not speaking of whether you know it or not girl so let's find out about this nine of cups here give me more about the nine of cups here for miss camilla okay we got the king of wands the lover Yes, this girl, this girl is looking for the love of her life. <sighs> so many options. It's so many options. Now we got the king of wands here. This is somebody that's very passionate. This is a masculine energy over the age of 25 again. Again, I see her with different people here. It's like she's not, is she choosing the ones that's mature? Okay, let's see. Because this is another mature energy. Now this is the big D energy coming in. But he could be kind of frustrating. You know, he come in and think that all he got to offer is that D. Okay. And you may want it because, honey, I mean, he, he know what he's doing. But it's the king of one's energy. Coming up as the lovers. It's like they're coming in offering the big D. And it's all they're giving, girl. That's so 2020. So 2020. Uh, that, no, that's 2019, baby. That's 2019, 2020, 20. And then the pandemic had to stop some of that. Because it's like, there's too many situationships on the earth. So the pandemic had to come in and stop the situationships. Because everybody was big D energy out. Everybody was uh, claiming they was lovers. Opposite of the track. But really you was attracting your uh, toxic counterpart, if you will. Next we got this king of swords energy. Wow. So it's almost like he coming in with the big D. Somebody that she partnered with that she loved, but then at the same time he kind of brutal. He also he's he coming in with that sword. It's like why you got the sword out? Why is the king with the sword out? Because he may be kind of nasty with his words. Whether he know it or not, I think he definitely know it because there's too many swords here, too many swords that's surrounding her, and she's not speaking about it. Then we got this three of pentacles. It's like a third party energy or working well with a third party energy. Or girl, you probably just lowering your standard and deciding to work with this third party energy because he constantly giving out these pentacles, his give his knight of pentacles. It's a young male again coming in making an offer. Okay, so I see that there is somebody here that could possibly give her that that last cup. Okay, but this person right here who could possibly give her that last cup. No, no, the king is here to give her the last cup, but I feel like it's a lot of low vibrational energy around this person. But then we got this person coming in with the big D energy. Also, we got another king of swords here. So it's almost like torn between two lovers here. <laughs> Are you going to choose the one with passion? You're going to choose this one over here. It seems like this may be a bad boy over here. Somebody that could possibly be a good father, but also very slick with his tongue very you know he could be truthful but then he could be brutally honest he was like are you gonna eat that okay that's so many calories that has 800 calories you know you're probably all about appearance but then this person over here has a lot of passion but they both kind of giving me bad boy situations they're not offering the cup you know they're giving a little something something but I seem like she's torn between two lovers. But she's not torn between the right lovers because the King of Cups is over here. But then again, the King of Cups is surrounded by a lot of dark energy. So, girl, yeah, she's not picking right. I don't know what's going on. 
So you need to take a time, maybe take a step back, okay? Girl, sometimes you got to take a step back. Because if you're going to keep on picking the wrong type of guys, uh, you're not winning. You're not going to win, okay? So just take a moment back because I don't think the options are, you got a lot of options. I don't think you're picking the right option. I don't think you can see the right options, okay? Not at this time. So, yeah, it's too much dark energy here mixed in with, you know, possibilities or potential. I don't see nothing that's really just saying like, oh, this is the one. I, I do see that she can be happy. It's a lot of ace, like, okay, we got the ace of pentacles, girl. You could be good by yourself, okay? We got the page of wands. You know, you come across as being a little immature when it comes to these partnerships. But then again, we got the fool here. It's like very naive. And then naive, and then you can't be naive when you got this type of energy around you. That's why people are able to do that to you. That's why they keep on, you know, calling it passion. But then they're hitting you in the head with the wands. There's so many options here. You can't even see your left from your right. But you are the star here. You are the star. You do have somebody coming in offering the cups. But, you know, it was so much dark energy around this person with the cups. Now, we got the lover here at the end. Okay. we With the king of wands. With the king of swords. So many options. But you don't seem like you're happy with these options as well. You're not happy with these options. Okay. You kind of like this um, young, this young energy here. It's something about it for you. But at the same time, girl, you're showing up as the queen. I mean, the empress. Okay. you also showing up as somebody with, a, with your glow up. You, you're looking good. You're feeling good. Okay, you're just trying to find somebody to work with, somebody that's going to stick around, somebody that could possibly be, you know, give you this three of pentacle energy and not a third party energy. Now, is this somebody that you're working with? Are you looking at guys that you're working with in the Hollywood? You may need to move away from that. Okay, because you, you feel about the gap. You can't speak about a situation. But then we got this offer. That's an offer that's coming in. Nobody's not making big offers. Everybody making small offers. But that's kind of how it goes with dating, girl. Nobody's going to come in and offer you a big ring at the beginning of the relationship. So that's going to conclude the reading for Miss Camilla Cabela. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Okay. Because this girl needs to really focus on herself. The cards are saying that because, like I said, she got options, but you're not choosing the right options. And, girl, you need to stop before you get bit by a snake, honey. So, that's going to conclude the reading for Miss Camilla. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.